Coach just talked about that, like some of the things that we don't see behind the scenes that he's doing, you know, in terms of communicating with you guys, texting you guys about routes, things like that. Yeah. How unusual is that? Or, and how much do you appreciate that a guy goes to that length to, to make it work? Um, it's not that it's unusual. I mean, it's like the saying, it's never what you do, it's how it's done. It's like um, the, the detail that he has when he's communicating with me through text uh, on a certain route. And then also the, the, the feedback that he wants from me. Um, you know, he's a quarterback, so he quarterbacks typically know everything, you know, about the offense. So it's, all, it's, it's always um, cool when they're um, humble enough to just, just get my perspective, you know what I mean? And he does that all the time, so... It's been fun working with him. Do you think there will be much of a transition phase for you going from Jacoby to Sean? I'm not sure. Um, it's just something we'll have to wait and see. Um, obviously, there are two different uh, quarterbacks, two different people. Um, but that's why we practice. You know, uh, whatever the, the transition is, I hope it's you know a positive one. Do you have a bunch of examples from this season of kind of where you and Jacoby have talked during the week and then just showed up? You said, do I have any? Yeah, I have a, yeah, I have a bunch. Um, I have, I mean, it's most of the third down routes. I mean, we talk about, cause I mean, we talk about them to every play that's in the game plan for me. Um, so most of the balls that I catch, we've talked about it. You know what I mean? Um, we practice them so much. Uh, walkthroughs, we do two, three walkthroughs. We can practice. Um, every day, so yeah. I mean, every route that's in the game plan for I me, mean, we've we've talked about. Obviously, some routes we put more emphasis on talking about. If it's like a, um, a route we we haven't like a, a route we just installed or something like that. But yeah, mostly every route. Will you still um, have that back and forth with, with Jacoby going forward? I'm sure you guys will still talk about how defensive backs and routes and schemes and game plans. No, no, I'm <laughs> nah, I'm sure, we, I'm sure, I'm sure we will. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, it's always good to get a, a quarterback's perspective, and I mean, we've already established that communication, so uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, how, how valuable is it to have that guy? I mean, we're talking about his final start, but he's still going to be in the locker room. How valuable is it to have just a better guy, a better quarterback? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean. I mean, in every locker room that I've been in, um, I've always been in constant communication with the backup quarterback, too, because you get that extra perspective. I mean, you get that even like in practice, in games, I'm always talking to the, to the backup quarterback because he's there watching. He, he gets to see everything, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Have you got any sense that this being his final start means more to him? Uh, I don't know. You have to ask Jacoby that. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, Oh, uh, um, I mean, the thing about Jacoby, he's always passionate. Like, he, he always has that, that will to win. He's always, like, angry if he makes a mistake and uh, really happy when he does the right thing. So uh, I, I've always seen the passion there. Uh, Kevin said that the Bucks corners are really big and physical. Is that what you see when you watch me? What sticks out to you? Yeah, I mean, you know, typically, um, you know, a lot of corners in this league, they're, like, not over six feet, you know what I mean? So both of these guys are around six feet, six one. Uh, Dean, probably closer to six two, you know? Long guys, uh, fast, um, physical at the line of scrimmage. So, I mean, yeah, they, they are bigger and more physical than you typically see. What kind of stress does it put, conversely, on a, on a team when you've got you know, three, it's hard enough trying to cover you, but when you've got almost like three of you out there and, and I mean, it's just more threats, you know, more threats you have to worry about um, uh, defensively. Um, all three of those guys, I think all three of those guys have made Pro Bowls and things like that. So, I mean, obviously it's going to be a, a, a task, but, you know, that's, that's every week in the NFL in some way, form or fashion. Uh, just something that we have to prepare for. You know Tom Brady don't want us up? Nah. Is it, I mean, you know, being Tom Brady, right? I mean, arguably the greatest Tom Brady. Is it just special playing in the same game as him? Uh, yeah, I mean, I played in the same game with him before. Right. Um, 
I'd probably be more special if I played defense, I, I think. I mean, I don't know. Um, but no, I mean, I, you recognize greatness when you see it. Um, yeah, and, and um, I lost my train of thought. But like I said, you, you recognize greatness when you see it and uh, you respect it. You know what I mean? So definitely, definitely a lot of respect there. Just the optimism, you know, looking at the glass uh, half full. Um, it's a long season, have a lot of games left. Um, like I said, I think last week or two weeks ago, you know, stranger things that happened. So, you know, we're just optimistic about um, the, the games that are in front of us.